Hi, Pep Stars. Welcome back to the channel. Also to the Ability Test Prep Series. This is your number one channel. Just stay tuned so you can prepare for your 2025 Ability Test Examination and the Performance Test and Curriculum Based Test. It's all here. All right. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at the reasoning type questions. So last week we looked at the verbal reasoning type questions and link the video above. And then today now we're looking at the quantitative reasoning type question. So let's get right into it. All right, so the first question we're looking at patterning questions. Patterning involves identifying, generating, and describing patterns in a given sequence. Sometimes quite completing or extending the pattern in the given sequence. Let's look at an example. Look carefully at the map of the world and answer question 28. Map of the world showing climatic zones. So we're seeing the map of the world here. And we're seeing the climatic zones, cold, warm, and hot. Which of the following is correct? Warm countries are closest to the equator, and cold countries are closest to the poles. Hot countries are closest to the poles. And cold countries are closest to the equator. Countries are closest to the poles, and countries are closest to the equator. Or warm countries are closest to the pole, and countries are closest to the equator. So the correct cold countries are closest to the pole, and hot countries are closest to the equator. Move on to the next question. Which of the following completes the sequence? 0, 30 degrees north, 60 degrees north. So from the pattern, we can see that for each, the next pattern, it's going up by 30 degrees north. So from 0, you add on 30 degrees north, and it will be 30 degrees north. 30 degrees north, 60 degrees north, and then we can add degrees north to 60 will give us 90 degrees north. So we can see for these questions that we looked at, we recognized and completed an arrangement in a logical order. Let's look at the next type of question, representing quantities. This involves making sense of quantities, meaning of quantities, not just complete them, and using a variety of ways to create a coherent representation of the problem. Let's look at an example. Which ocean is the smallest? So we're seeing here amongst a group of oceans, and the one with the smallest kilometer square is the Arctic Ocean. Which mountain is the highest? And from the list of mountains here, we can see that C has the mountain with the highest meters, which is 6. 962. Compared to the others, it's the highest. Look at the relief map of Jamaica. 
and answer questions 32 and 33. So here's the relief map of Jamaica. Let's examine it. So we have the different mountain mountains, and then we also have the measurements for the mountains. We also have a key that tells us the symbol color and the meaning. And the triangle means that it's a mountain peak and all the mountains with yellow are over 500 meters. And the mountains with the tan color are over are 200 meters. And the mountains or the area with zero are zero to 100 meters above sea level. Which is the second mountain peak in Jamaica? Second mountain peak in Jamaica. Let's go back and look at our map. So the Blue Mountain Peak is the highest with 7,400 feet or 2,256 meters. And let's see which one is second. It looks like it's St. Catherine's Peak with 4,944 feet or 1,507 meters. So the correct answer is St. Catherine's Peak. Which statement is correct? Most of the highlands are along the coastline. Most of the lowlands are lowlands are along the coastline. The highest mountains are on the western section of the island, or there's more lowland on the north he, north coast than the south coast. Let's see for the north coast. There's not more more lowland because the air with green is the lowland, so there's not more lowland on the north coast than the south coast. So that answer D would be incorrect. I'm just looking at the others that are not correct, and that's why we can choose that. B is correct. The highest mountains are in the western section of the island. Let's look at that. And that's also not true because over here is the western section of the island. And we can see that the highest mountains are on the eastern section of the island. All right, let's continue. It says, most of the, the highlands and the coastline. And the coastline are on the outer portions of the island. And we're seeing that that is also... Most of the highlands are not along the coastline, but let's look at the lowlands now. Along the coastline of Jamaica, we can see that these areas are green, and therefore it shows that most of the lowlands are on the coastline of Jamaica. So what we did for this question set was to understand the quantities represented in various ways. how we can compare quantities. <laughs> Comparing numbers such as fractional numbers, whole numbers, and decimals to determine which one is more, less, or equal. It also involves comparing quantities based on their mass, temperature, and capacity. All right, let's look at number 34. St. Thomas is 743.48 kilometers square. Which parish is larger than St. Thomas? So when we look at the list of the parishes, we can see that Trelawney is larger because it is 84.3 kilometers square. Let's look at another example. Look at the pie chart showing ethnic groups in Trinidad and Jamaica and answer question 35. 
ethnic groups in Trinidad, ethnic groups in Jamaica. Which ethnic group has a larger percentage in Jamaica than Trinidad? So we can see that the blacks here is in blue. And we can see that the blacks in Trinidad are not as large as this portion for Jamaica. So we can say that blacks is a correct result. For every other group in Trinidad, that is more than the groups in Jamaica. So they can in be. So he's able to compare quantities. All right, so we're going to now look at estimation. And this is the last question group that we're going to look at for today's class. Using approximation or estimation to solve real world mathematical problems. This is an example. Which water body makes up almost 50% of the world's ocean? And we can see here that that is the Pacific Ocean. It is 46, and that is closest to 50% compared to the others. So there you have it. We've just given approximate values. Thank you for tuning into today's session. I look forward to seeing you in other sessions. Please share these videos with your classmates and with other students that you know who are sitting the 2025 ability to examination. I'm sharing beautiful nuggets to help us to learn all the different, if you've noticed, I've given the definitions as well as the examples that we can use to help us want to identify the different topics that will come on the examination and also to see how these questions are solved. Until next time, we're all working to become proficient.